Hello, my name is Micah Chris Cola. This is my historical um, dancer presentation. Uh, and before we start, I just want to apologize initially for my webcam. It's very old and not that great, so the image is going to be very choppy. Uh, and also my, my microphone is bad, so please bear with me as I talk to you about my dancer. Uh, and we'll get right into it. Um, I had Marie Anne de Coupes de Camargo. Uh, often shortened to Marie Camargo. She was an 18th century French Belgian dancer uh, and she's well known for um, just her overall skill but she also pioneered a lot of things in the world of ballet and essentially made it what it is today, uh, at least started it. Um, she was born in 1710 to an Italian dance master um, and it kind of makes sense that she's great at dancing because it runs in the family. Uh, but ever since she was a child, she was trained in dance. Uh, her mentor was Francois Provost, who we've spoken about in our, in our notes and in our readings and whatnot. Um, she got her first onstage debut when she was 16, and people loved her. Uh, she had a lot of success, and people liked her a lot. And that actually made her mentor, um, Francois Provost, very jealous. So um, Francois put her in the ensemble, uh, which is like the background. Uh, but even there, she stuck out and uh, was still, you know, people still really liked her. And one of her famous stories is that she improvised an entire dance uh, because a male dancer forgot his, uh, his entrance and he missed it. Um, so to make up for that, she just made up an entire dance off, off the, off the bat, um, and that, that's pretty amazing. Uh, she is the first dancer to establish first position, uh, and what first position is is essentially you, in ballet, you have your heels together, and then your toes apart, and this is used in, you know, the positions are used in a lot of the moves like for example an entree shot is a is a leap where the dancer jumps and <laughs> they kind of like wiggle their feet back and forth and then land um, I'm not putting it in the most graceful way because I don't know the logistics exactly of ballet um, but that's basically what it was and she did that and cabrioles which um, those both those moves were seen as male uh, moves kind of so she broke that stereotype and was able to successfully pull those off um, but she's very famous yes for the positions but she also shortened her skirt um, she she uh, was well known for her beautiful technique and her agility and speed uh, and that translates to her footwork her footwork was uh, very uh, well known and renowned so she wanted to make sure that people could see her feet and that's why she shortened her skirt, which at the time was very scandalous, uh, even though it was just above the ankle, is what she shortened it to. And it actually, it worked its way into fashion of that day. So I find that very interesting that dance was such a big part of pop culture in that era that, you know, what the dancer does with their clothes can totally influence the look of that, that era. Um, she was also the first ballerina to wear slippers. She took the heels off of her shoes. Um, I assume in order to move easier because it, it can't be that easy wearing heels and doing ballet. Um, it's not that easy to wear heels and do anything, or so I've heard. Uh, she was all in all over her entire career uh, involved in 78 uh, ballets and operas. And all this time she was competing with uh, another dancer that we have talked about, um, Sale. Um, they were pretty, <laughs> pretty intense rivals all their careers. And I'm sure somebody will have her as a uh, historical character presentation, so I won't go into much detail about her career. But the, yeah, the entire time up until Camargo's retirement with her lover, um, they they were rivals so uh, her overall legacy is mainly in changing the way uh, you know the where and the how ballet is so the clothing 
the footwear, the positions um, are all due to Camargo's um, her inventions and things that she decided were great and you know she pioneered a lot of things um, her legacy in total I mean you can there's ballets that have been made in honor of her there's actually food I found um, it's called a souffle Camargo that you can get and there's a few other dishes that are <laughs> um, they use her name but all in all she made a lot of movements that influenced the rest of dance history and that's why I'm talking about her in this class so thanks for watching I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this thanks